I'm really excited today about this webinar. It's going to be great because I have a very good friend of mine here who is going to be joining us and he is second to none when it comes to teaching about technical analysis, charting, and, and trading. Alan Farley has been in this business for a long, long time. He's one of the best writers and one of the best uh, traders I've, I've seen in, many, in my many years. And uh, I, I, I'm just thrilled, not just for you, but for myself as well, too, because it's going to be a great opportunity for all of us to learn something new from Alan. And he's you know, graciously giving us uh, some time today, an hour plus, to, um, to teach us all some of the things that, that he knows and some of the things that he's seen and experienced over the years that are going to help us all become better traders. People ask me all the time, Alan, what do you think about the black, sw black swan credit events? What do you think about the Fed? What do you think about tapering? Well, what do you think about profitability? What do you think about the market? But that's the wrong question. You know, you're not going to get smarter than anybody else when it comes to what the Fed's doing or what's going on in China or anywhere else. You're not any smarter than that. The question you need to be asking yourself is, see how this nice, long, ugly sell-off goes right to the gap, drops into the gap, pulls back above the gap level. Do you know that there's a buy signal that traders use that's right, 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 right there? The classic way for a gap to get filled is by another gap in the opposite direction. In this particular case, there's a little bit of crossover. So very classically, you'll get the day starting maybe about midpoint right there. Then it, then it thrusts lower of where you get a gap through a gap. And when you see a gap through a gap, and I'm going to tell you this 100% of the time, watch your asses. That's not a gap you want to buy if it's, if it's coming down in, a, in an uptrend. That's not a gap you want to, want to buy because a gap through a gap is the one way with that. When gaps get filled, you don't want to fade it, which means you don't want to take it in the opposite direction. But that brings us to the third of my three topics today, which is on just basic gap fill strategies on stocks. And I'll bring up my favorite play of the week because it's the one I made the most money on in this past week, and that is uh, Agar. Agar the Horrible. Agarian, one of my favorite stocks in the whole world.